My wrestling story actually begins before I was even born. Uh, my, my father started the wrestling program at Western New England University, and he started it with my uncle and not his brother, my, my mother's brother. So they met that way, and my mom and dad got married. So I've had wrestling on either side of my family, and I was exposed to it my entire life. But it's not that I didn't have the desire to drive, it just wasn't appealing to me yet. And my dad was involved with Western New England Wrestling, and he was an assistant coach there, volunteering there. He was refing, he was running youth programs, but it just wasn't something that I wanted to do. And then in sixth grade, all of a sudden, I wanted to try it out. And I started wrestling, and the second I got in there, it was game over. I was instantly hooked. I loved the feeling of the harder you work, the more you can get out of it. It was just rewarding. Started wrestling in the uh, Wilbraham Munson Academy basement wrestling room below the dorms. And that was the first place where, where it all started to click. I can remember the first day when I uh, got my first takedown on, on the first really good kid down there. And after that happened, it just, I never wanted to stop. I never wanted to leave. I just wanted to keep going and going. And then I went on and I went to high school and just kept learning that the harder you work, the more time you put in, the better you're gonna be. And that, that was able to transfer over to everything else in my life. I went off to Rhode Island College after and I had some awesome teammates that were inspiring. And that was probably the best experience of my life so far, aside from coaching and the rewards that you get from coaching. Um, and even, even in college, one thing that college wrestling taught me is that even if you do every single little thing in life correctly, you're still not guaranteed anything. So it takes something special and a lot of hard work and commitment and desire and passion to, to achieve something that you really want. And everything's tough and it takes a lot to overcome to get something. Um, right now, I'm still involved with the sport. I coach, I'm assistant coach at Western New England University, and I just opened up my own wrestling club called Bay State Wrestling. Uh, Bay State Wrestling is Northeast Elite that Coach Powers formed um, in Connecticut, and he came to me and told me that it was time for him to close and move on, and when, the second he told me that, I, I just thought about how I couldn't imagine if a place like that closed when I was a kid and when I was still training. And it did so much for me, and he did so much for me, along with many other great, I had tons of Olympic and, and world level coaches, uh, Shazad Amadi and Iba Nieves, so many guys, I have so many people that I'm thankful for, and one of those places was Northeast Elite, and I couldn't imagine what would have happened if it was gone. So the way I looked at it is that as long as I had the power to do something about it, I was gonna make sure that kids in this area in Western Massachusetts had the opportunity to succeed and had the places to go because there's not all that that much opportunity out there for them. So that's my whole thing with Bay State Wrestling and why I want to give back and I want people to be able to have the same experiences in life that I was able to have because of wrestling. Um, all my friends are wrestlers and sometimes I ask, I even talk to my dad about it, I'm like, I, I wonder if that's a bad thing, but it's just, you people gravitate to people that have the similars and Wrestlers are a unique group of people that share a similar bond and they just understand and get each other and knows what it takes to be successful. And like I said, I've met so many people through wrestling and I, that's one of the things that means the most to me about it is the different relationships that come from wrestling and the people that you can meet and the places you can be. I had never been out of the United States, but I, I had the opportunity to go to Puerto Rico and compete in international competitions. and wrestle in Las Vegas when I was in college and head down to Florida and wrestle in tournaments down there. And it, it's just been a, a really great experience and all my coaches that I've had, Coach Jones at Rhode Island College, Brendan Casey, Coach Trebelli, Coach Smith, all those guys have done so much for me. And um, I want to make sure that I'm able to give kids the same opportunity that I was given because of all the great coaches that I have and I want to try to emulate them.